Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today we're going to be talking about normal maps. Not necessarily how to make them, but something really interesting that not that many people are aware of. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's say that you're in a need of a very simple normal map. It can either be like small circles or cubes, etc. In my case, what I needed are just tiny little cubes of a normal map to put on my collar. And you can see how it looks like. It looks really good. And I did not do this by hand. All you can do is you can search on Google any uh, anything that you need so in my case it would be cubes and then just a normal map and it's as simple as that you can see we have a bunch of different uh, options here that you can choose from now of course this may not work all the time sometimes you're not going to find the normal map like the exact one that you need but this is a really cool thing because I did not know that you can just, you know, search on Google any just basic normal maps and that you can download them from here. Now, when you have your desired normal map, how do you actually apply it to your avatar? How do you make it look good? So what I did in my case, I used Krita. It's a simple drawing program. I'll leave the link in the description. And all you would do is you would go in Unity and grab the textures of the thing that you're trying to make the normal map for. So in my case, so in my case, it would be the color. And all you would do is you would drag in the normal map as a new layer. You would use this tool here to basically bring it down. And what you would do here is you can see I need to align these with these cubes here. So I'm going to make the opacity a little bit smaller just so I can perfectly align these and resize them to their proper height. And you may need to stretch it a bit as well. Now you can see that the normal map aligns with my collar and you would duplicate this layer. So control C, control V, move it next. And this, of course, depends on the thing you're working on. It could be, of course, different in your case. And after you finished, after you're happy with your normal map, you're going to hide the layer behind. So you're only left with the normal map. And then what you're going to do is you're going to actually grab the normal map that you're trying to fix or add this to and just insert here as a new layer. And now, as you can see, that uh, the thing that we did overlapped it on the actual normal map of the avatar. And once you just imply that in Unity, as you can see, we have those little cubes. And of course, depending on the normal map and depending on the quality of it, it may not be as noticeable. But as you can see, in my case, it did a beautiful job. So there you go. I hope that this showed you something new. I don't know if I'm the only one who didn't know about this, that you can just Google normal maps and then just take them. And it does take, it is a little bit of process to get it to work. But honestly, once you pull it off, it's really worth it. Anyway, I hope that this video helped you out. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around. Peace.